Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are doing another Will I Buy It video. I am super excited because there is a bunch of products that I want and I can't wait to share them with you, to tell you my thoughts, whether or not I will buy them. And of course I also have some others that are a little bit more meh, but I want to share with you regardless. If you're excited about today's video, if you love new makeup releases, don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's go ahead and get started. I want to start by recognizing the power of makeup because I just sat down, I was determined to film this video, I put on some makeup and I feel so much better and I have had the worst day plus this foundation's been on for like 10 hours so yeah let's get started i have so much to share let me scoot over this way <laughs> let's get started with this new fenty release right here i am currently wearing the fenty heat plumping gloss and i actually really like it it is pretty painful i would say not painful i've actually tried worse but you do feel your lips going spicy you know but it also plumps them really really nice and i tend to prefer plumping glosses that are more minty more cold more icy so i'm excited to try the ice one because i think i'll probably like it even better than the heat one that i'm wearing plus it's clear so it goes with everything i'm actually pretty excited for this review and i plan on picking it up um, maybe in a haul or something like that. I love the Fenty Gloss Bombs. They have an amazing formula. And this heat one, even though, like I said, it burns a little bit, I like it. So again, I think I'll like this ice one even better. Moving on to Patrick Star's makeup line, which is One Size Beauty. And they're coming out with a Disney collaboration. Um, take a look right here. I personally am not the biggest fan of One Size Beauty. Their products kind of don't interest me as much as I would expect them to or as much as I would like to be interested in the line. There are a couple of things that I have tried that I have liked. Like for example, the setting powder. I feel like that's the one product from the line that I really like. Anyways, they're coming out with this Disney collaboration and again, I feel like the colors that they chose and I, I just feel like they could have done better to be honest. The palette is kind of basic and uh, borderline boring. The little sponge is super cute because it's Mickey's um, face and ears but it seems not super usable I think. Um, like it would be hard to apply your makeup like that wouldn't it? <laughs> And I think the highlighter with the Mickey Mouse embossing is like the best part of this collection. That's the one thing that kind of piques my interest. Oh, actually, the brush is what piques my interest the most. The brush looks really nice. Anyways, it's okay. I'm not overly interested in it. The brush is the one thing that I'm like, that is really cute packaging. But other than that, it's definitely a pass for me. Shantae Kai is not a line that I cover all that often. I don't think I've ever covered it, but I always lost over their makeup releases. And so that is exactly what I'm doing with this one. They're coming out with their holiday 2022 collection. And it looks like there is a radiant blush, a radiance powder, a blur glow powder, and the lip crystal pink opal i just love the aesthetic i love the packaging i've never actually tried any of their products so i don't know how good they are um if you guys want me to try shantakai please let me know down in the comment section below maybe i can splurge and try them one day this collection looks really nice but it doesn't look overly different or overly innovative so i don't think that i'll be grabbing it but it is really really pretty <laughs> this next one i feel like i have been waiting for this next one i'm going to talk about it is a color pop collection which i know i never ever ever unless it's like a collaboration with a youtuber i rarely ever grab color pop releases but and many of you probably know this because I probably have mentioned it a time or two. I am a huge, huge, huge Harry Potter fan. I am a Potterhead. I love the Harry Potter books. I love the Harry Potter movies, the theme parks, everything about the Harry Potter world. I love, okay? And 
Colourpop is coming out with a Harry Potter collaboration collection. So needless to say, I want everything. Now, the collection, I saw a lot of people in the comments uh, on Trend Mood saying that, you know, it could have been more special. It's like not that different. It's like, you know, slightly different packaging, the same neutral palette, whatever. Honestly, they could have come out with like the worst looking palette in history. I personally would have still been excited about it because it is a Harry Potter collection and it's with Colourpop, which I I already like their formulation so I'm excited I want everything the collection has four different eyeliners one for each of the Harry Potter houses they are colorful eyeliners I want them the palette looks really pretty it's got the colors of the different houses it's got reds and blues and yellows I feel like it could do with a little bit more yellows but it's got yellows nevertheless <laughs> and I also feel like the palette actually has a nice combination of colorful eyeshadows with neutral eyeshadows it makes the palette exciting because Harry Potter but also wearable um, it has three different highlighters they are named after Harry Potter um, characters slash animals there's a hippogriff highlighter there is a Hedwig highlighter and a Dobby highlighter and then there is four glosses and four lip balms. Did I mention I'm excited about the Colourpop and Harry Potter collection? Because I am. I actually emailed Colourpop hoping that maybe they like include me in the PR list for this release. Fingers crossed they even see my email. Um, and I don't know, I've never been in contact with anyone from Colourpop, but I would love to review the Harry Potter and Colourpop collection. And don't get me wrong, if I'm not able to get a PR package of it, I will buy everything myself. It's not a problem. I want it, right? But it's just easier if I were to get it in PR because um, Colourpop's shipping just takes a little bit too long and by the time I'm going to be able to have that video out, it's been out already, you know? Anyways, you guys don't care about that. Let's talk about this next product. When I first saw this, this is from Dior. It looked like a face palette to me with like a weird plastic brown thing in the center. Like it didn't immediately register that this was supposed to be an eyeshadow palette because all four of the eyeshadows around the brown, at least in this picture, kind of look exactly the same. And then there's that brown in the middle, which I realized afterwards that it, it is not a piece of plastic, it's a brown eyeshadow, but I don't know, I just feel like this is a weird release. I know that a lot of people like subtle makeup, but this is like eyeshadow base setting subtle like you can put an eyeshadow base on and set it with translucent powder and get the exact same look oh wait no you actually have the brown eyeshadow as well but is anybody else weirded out by this release because i am actually let me see the comments on this did they forget <laughs> angelica nickvis commented did they forget to make the other three shades <laughs> Samantha Ravendel said, this is giving hourglass shade range. <laughs> um, someone said, $65 for four of the same shade? What a steal! <laughs> okay, this is fun. I promise you I hadn't even thought of looking at the comments until now, but um, they're hilarious, so I'm not alone in this. This is the weirdest release ever. So let's move on to something a little bit more exciting. I talked about Gwen Stefani's upcoming lip glosses in my last Will I Buy It video, but there is also going to be lip liners in the collection and I love the packaging of these lip liners. So of course I have to pick up the lip liners along with the glosses whenever they release, which it looks like they release September 6th. So today they release, so I'm actually going to link them down in the description box of the video if you guys are interested in buying them and I'll probably make a purchase after this video i cannot wait to try the lip liners they have this really nice like rectangular tip so you can kind of line and fill in but if you want to be precise you can turn it on the side and be precise with it at the same time i am excited this picture right here with that perfect brown nude lip liner i need that lip liner it needs to be part of my collection and i cannot wait to try it this next collection right here made me mad. And here's why. I have tried a thing or two from Bessame Cosmetics. And Bessame Cosmetics traditional packaging is based on like 
old style makeup like makeup from the 1920s and 1930s their packaging is inspired on the packaging of that era they even had one of those mascaras that you put on with a toothbrush looking brush thing right so they have this like old-timey vibe to their collection and they have a Disney collaboration more specifically a Disney villain collaboration so I feel like they could have done the most with the packaging they could have made it like really nice fantasy packaging like Disney inspired old-timey I don't know they could have gone so many different directions with this yet they went the most boring route they could have done don't get me wrong I doubt that I would have purchased this collection regardless but that's because I'm just not like a super huge Disney fan I love Disney but I don't need to own every collection Disney collaborates with because that would be a lot <laughs> but anyways Besame could have done such nice packaged items for this collection with Disney and they scaled back their packaging for the collaboration and they went with like good old cardboard packaging and I'm just very disappointed what can I say anyways let's move on because I'm mad about that one <laughs> holiday 2022 we have some sneak peek from what benefit is coming out with and honestly everything looks really nice i feel like um benefit and Too faced always come out with really pretty limited edition package things for the holidays that are functional sometimes you get a deal on the products and they honestly really work and so that's what we're seeing here they have little bra kits where not only you get the products for a cheaper price but you also get the christmasy packaging you also have the chic trio with the blush the bronzer and the highlighter love that one the advent calendar also looks really really beautiful now this is like great gifting makeup I'm not sure that I would purchase it for myself. Maybe the Chic Palette, actually, because that Chic Palette does look really good. But I love the idea of gifting these to teenagers that are into makeup. I feel like that would be a fantastic Christmas gift. It's super Christmassy. It's super, like, happy and joyful. And then you're also giving them good quality makeup that they can enjoy for an extended period of time. So, love these. I'm excited for these holiday packaged releases to keep coming out can you believe it's like september the 6th and we are already seeing all of this holiday fun come out <laughs> a few days ago hourglass announced their holiday collection palettes and i am obsessed with the packaging let's be honest i feel like the inside of them looks like every other hourglass holiday palette that has come out i'm sure there are different but like the inside is not that different from what they've released in the past however the exterior packaging of these hourglass palettes are to die for also i feel like they might have taken a page out of like chantikai's packaging because they're the ones that sometimes put like animal um images and prints on the outside of their packaging but that's okay i feel like it's valid they can do it i want to try all three of them i'm not gonna lie the tiger one looks really good i love the butterfly one the elephant i feel like the elephant packaging is definitely my favorite the elephant packaging is so pretty and actually the inside of the elephant palette also amazing these are to die for i want to review them all let me know what you think down in the comment section below are you excited for the hourglass release or are you kind of like over it yawning whatever i have another disney villain collection and i actually really really liked the appearance of this one first of all it's a disney villain collection and they are um, collaborating with essence and catrice i believe both of these are drugstore brands i'm sure essence is a drugstore brand but i'm not 100 percent on catrice i don't think i've ever owned anything from them but i'm like 90 percent sure that catrice is also a drugstore brand so it excites me that disney did a collaboration with drugstore brands because that means that this makeup is going to be available at a really nice affordable price also essence eyeshadows not bad the packaging of these extremely fun i really wish that we had the pricing on what all of this is going to retail for but i feel like this collection might sell out it looks really fun 
very exciting the Catrice packaging really cute and it looks like they're even coming out with like dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter with Disney villains on them I don't know I am totally here for this one if I am able to catch the release and let me know if you're interested this would be something that I might be interested in reviewing is that crazy <laughs> it just looks so fun and I'm hoping it's not super expensive the palettes the palettes look incredible all of those villain palettes look amazing oh the Corella one with the cool tones yes yes I'm here for it. So yes, let me know what you think of this collection down in the comment section below and maybe once everything releases, I'll review it here on my channel. I feel like I don't review drugstore products all that often, but that's because it's not all that often that drugstore products excite me and these collections excite me, you know? <laughs> I was talking earlier about Too Faced holiday releases and it looks like we can already see some of the products that they're coming out with this holiday season. It looks like, you know, the stuff that they come out with pretty much every year, nice neutral palettes with fun packaging. Again, I do not hate on these because these are actually nice and functional and I do feel like they make really amazing Christmas gifts. If someone were to give me this for Christmas, I wouldn't be upset. You know, it's like limited edition. You can't get it anymore and they are useful items. I particularly love them, like I said, for teenagers. The exterior of the Christmas Bake Shop uh, packaging looks really nice. The swatches obviously look good on camera, but you know, we have to really try them to see if they're as pigmented as they look. Oh, this palette, okay, the Secret Santa mini palette, really cute. I might have to buy that for myself. I'm excited. That one definitely got me. I think I want to try that Secret Santa palette from Too Faced. Moving on to House Labs, I have talked about the House Labs foundation on my channel on a previous Will I Buy It video and it's launching September 8th. So if it's already on the Sephora website, I'll have it linked down below. But also, they are not only launching a new foundation with 50 different shades, they are coming out with a new setting powder as well. Needless to say, I've been very excited for the foundation. The packaging looks extremely luxe. And I'm obviously also interested in that setting powder. So this is a release that I definitely want to grab and play with and review for you because I'm pretty excited about it. Miss Danessa Myricks is coming out with another palette, another multi-chromatic palette, like the one she came out with last year for the holiday season. And uh, it looks to die for it. The colors look incredible. They look super pigmented. I love multi-chrome shades. I'm actually wearing a Danessa Myricks eyeshadow today on my eyelids. I'll have everything I'm wearing on my face listed down in the description box of this video. And so yes. Long story short, yes, I want to try this Danessa Myricks palette. I don't think that the shades are the same as the shades in the previous palette. That would be a big disappointment. And the shades in the middle look so incredible. They look dark and rich and like colorful and pigmented and buttery. Just everything I want in a nice shadow <laughs> right here. My only con with the Danessa Myricks palettes is that they don't have any mattes in them or at least these particular Danessa Myricks palettes don't have any mattes in them and so it's always a companion palette always something that you have to use in addition to some mattes at least for me it's like that um, so keep that in mind and it's probably going to be $125 if it's the same price as the one she released last year which is pretty pricey I'm not gonna lie but it's so pretty it's so pretty. If you love super shiny pigmented shades, I think you need to try it. <laughs> it's going to be available September the 13th on the Sephora website. Only a couple of products to go. This right here is new from Milk. They're coming out with a new concealer. Yes, I'm interested. The packaging looks really fun. They have a ton of colors. It is the Fluid All Over Cream Concealer, multi-use, medium to full coverage covers, sculpts, hydrates, lightweight, crease-proof, natural finish, 92% natural, clean, vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, silicone. I mean, it just sounds amazing, doesn't it? Um, so yes, I want to try it. It is coming soon to Sephora. We don't know when exactly it's going to be released, but 
I'm interested. I want to try it. And last but certainly not least, we have these Bobbi Brown palettes that are coming out for the holiday season. The one with the pink packaging looks like every other palette in my collection. Boring. It is a snooze fest. I mean, it's nice and natural, good for every day, good for work, etc. I'm sure it's a pretty palette, but like it doesn't excite me half as much as the one with that um, beautiful blue multi-colored packaging. The olives mixed with the neutrals with that super nice rich dark brown on the corner. I am here for it. Plus, I do think it's kind of different for the Bobbi Brown line to come out with a palette like that. And Bobbi Brown's um, line, I keep saying line because Bobbi Brown has a different line, but this is, you know, Bobbi Brown, <laughs> the line. <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> um, anyways, they have really good eyeshadow formulas. So I'm sure this palette is going to be spectacular. If you're interested, this might be something that I maybe want to pick up to review. So let me know down in the comment section do your thing, vote down there for whatever your favorite items were that I talked about and I will know what to buy. And so yes, this Bobbi Brown palette looks really nice. Their shades are nice and neutral, nothing too cool toned, nothing too warm toned, and I just love the couple of pops of like green that the palette has. It just does it for me. If the greens weren't there, it would be super boring, but the greens make it special, even if it's just three of them, I know. That's just the way my brain works. I can't blame it. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. Those are all of the releases that I kind of wanted to share with you because they piqued my interest. Um, like I said, let me know what you're interested in down in the comment section below because I would love to know. And if you like today's video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave. If you're new to my channel, my name is Patty. I would love it if you were here to stay, so please hit that red subscribe button before you leave. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.